and welcome everyone to the finale of Delta Rune. At least for now. Uh, I guess we could be specific and say Delta Rune Chapter Two. But uh, yes, last time we uh, met a certain spammer and uh, took, went to did the process of actually defeating said spammer. So yeah. We are making good progress. There's not really that much left of the game in the grand scheme of things. We're down to the, just the final castle, the final confrontation, and then uh, going back to the town again. So, uh, yeah. I don't, know about, I don't know if it's three hours worth of content. It all depends on how much uh, time it takes to actually finish it. And um, then, uh, you know, exploring the town, which definitely took a while at the end of Chapter 1. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hard to say, hard to say. Um, how's everything sound, by the way? How's the game sound? How's my sound? Looks like it could be raised up a little bit. Let's do that. There we go. All right, raise it up just a bit. That should be a bit better. All right, if that's all good. Yeah, believe it or not, we are nearly done with our stream every day in April. Uh, it's crazy to think about and we got a good chunk of the way through CrossCode and we'll be able to finish up Mario RPG and Deltarune within the month. So I call that pretty successful. All things considered. So uh, yeah, we'll just take our shortcut back and uh, let's do it. Gonna miss the daily streams. <laughs> It was definitely a lot of fun, but boy, I was struggling to get stuff done. Um, let's see if we just, yeah, this way. Hey, Gregster. That's right, Delta Rune, Mario RPG, and Shadowbringers were finished this month. Not too shabby, all things considered. It's a lot of pan, uh, pa, uh, trays. Oh me, oh my, the kitchen is infested with vermin. I knew we should have properly finished dumping all the, the, the cheese in that alleyway. Ouch, ouch, the mouse can't get me up here. Even if the ouch, ouch stove is burning my feet. <laughs> mouse, and it's not wearing a wig. What the? <laughs> mouse wheel. <laughs> Oh wow, that's that's interesting. Rolling around at the speed of mouse. Whoops. Not too bad. We are grippable, we are many. It's, it's mouse legion, oh god. enough oh, oh no cacophony of clicks all right so we're gonna do catch and then heal up Susie Oh, I don't know if that was enough. But still rolling out of control. Suddenly. What the? We'll take it from here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got it. Yuck is a zero was in fact not finished this month. No, it was not. <laughs> but we're getting there. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're trying our best to get through uh, Yakuza 0. Thanks for the help. We'll open up the East Dining Hall now. Ouch, ouch. How do I get down from here? Queen's making us prepare a massive feast for upcoming guests. I wonder if people can really eat platters, though. Pfft. Wow. Wow. 
Fryanka said the pacing should go a lot faster once we finish up the, um, this, the side content. Less. Oh, I am definitely ready for the obligatory prison break arc. That's the good stuff. Oh, shoot. One second. Kiko's working at the door, and I don't want to wake up uh, uh, Kai. One second. Did not break out of a prison in Super Mario RPG. <laughs> it's locked. What's with this giant empty room anyway? Welcome to my extravagant dining bonanza. Only one of these delicious platters has the key. I am sure searching will be an addicting game of chance. How the hell are we gonna search all these? Systematically. Error results, key not found. Did you mean give up? Oh god, it restarts. All the platters got mixed up again? Oh no. Hmm. Aha. Hey, there's something under this one. <laughs> Don't try to run away, you little... Wait a sec. Thanks, Toby. There's the key. Now we just have to... It broke it? Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, maybe minus the blatant destruction? Let's go, Chris. We're almost at the third floor. Well, that was wild. <laughs> Gotta love Toby. The Supreme Table. You won't be able to use this without the Throne of the Gods. <laughs> Don't just shine, Spartus. Oh. I guess we could have. Read the uh, impel down the course of a single day the first time, and then read the whole arc, next arc the very next day. Yeah, this this set of arc, uh, this whole set, gets really addictive. Maybe this is a bad idea. Oh god, oh god. That's a giant queen. Yeah, Amy made it home safe. She's downstairs with the kids right now. Oh god. Did 
not dodge that bouncing ball very well. What the? <laughs> well, we got T. You know, Susie knew how to do handle that. Oh, it's, there we go. Chocolate. There's a book here about preventing backtracking. <laughs> Chris, Susan, glad to see you arrive unwounded. Now let us hasten. Through here is a secret passageway, passageway to the roof. There we can and, and rescue Fi, Lady Noel. Uh, okay. Let's go, Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris is... Chris, you and your lackey distract Queen. Let's go, Susie. Just the two of us. Ha <laughs> ha. Fine, whatever. Chris, do you think of me as your lackey? Of course not. Huh? You mean... You think of me as more than a lackey? <laughs> oh my gosh. Filled with the power of book holes. <laughs> yeah, they're teacups, so why wouldn't they be... Yeah, it has to be tea. <laughs> what the... The knight created the fountain in this world. It might be even more powerful than the queen. For now. The queen has been very interested in this video recently. Where the knight creates the fountain by its own hand. Well, it's that in Cyber City's funniest home videos. This is today's dinner entertainment. I've heard it's called The Birth of a Fountain. What an elegant name. Uh, elegantly chaotic. We have often forced a star in these video in those videos. Hmm. Does make you wonder who Knight is. That is very interesting. Oops, hit my phone. A giant lake of acid? Oh, you mean the free pool? You will learn to love it like family. Why do you have this? It is my mansion's energy source and fun to drink. Bye ha ha ha. How should we pass this? <laughs> the swan, of course. I suppose this works. <laughs> Now we have to think of some way to distract the queen. Distract queen. Oh wow, I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> what are these little houses? Just tropical villas for my guests. Isn't that thoughtful? How would anybody fit inside? Shrink from the acid. Chris, get the banana. Chris isn't going to do what you say. That's okay, Chris. It's good for you. <laughs> we got the banana. Yeah, we got potassium. It's a banana truce. Looks like we're coming up on a tunnel. <laughs> tunnel of love. <laughs> There's something blocking the way. Maybe we can find some way to get rid of this. I'm not going that way. Ah, interesting. Thank you for your help. I had gone up there to do a little house cleaning and got stuck. A little house cleaning. Oh my god. A little house cleaning. <laughs> oh, 
I suppose we'll just have to let it go this once. <laughs> nice. That was the queen part of the birdly statue. The birdly statue was being flushed down the toilet right before they asked. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. That's funny, she flushed it. Well, that's not gonna work. I don't think I need to recruit that, do I? I'm curious. I thought I had gotten all those, but there's also a chest up here. Ooh, revive dust. Seems the pieces returned to the castle. <laughs> Yay. Hey, Colex, we're just making our way to the confrontation with Queen and going over the acid pool. You know, as you do. Dear guests, please note our mice will turn at every crossing. Our vermin have been especially special, handpicked for higher turning. Enjoy. Well, this will get us to the first chest. Oh, the mice found a dollar, but I didn't get any. Well, that's, ain't that a bummer. Let's have them get the other chest. Oh, we still didn't get any. <laughs> okay, now we do do this. Up, down. There we go. Sounds like the bridge was raised. Easy peasy. <laughs> Susie with Birdly and now Chris and Rousey in the acid tunnel of love. <laughs> yeah. The mice are $21 richer, which is a good thing. I mean, everybody can use a little bit of cash. High five. Hell yeah. Looks like the hand is out of the way now. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. <laughs> Acid tunnel of love. I love it. Chris, hey Chris, is it strange to say it's nice spending time alone with you like this? I feel the same. I'm happy hearing you say that, Chris. When we first met, I, I was so nervous about first impressions. I even hit my face so you wouldn't see. How do you even be a friend? All I have to do is be nice, is what I thought. But I'm starting to realize being friends is more than that, isn't it? Susie, sometimes she isn't nice at all. She's selfish, she's rude, she's sarcastic, but isn't it wonderful that she's her? Is what I started thinking today. And of course, Chris, it's nice that you're you. It's nice that Rousey is Rousey. Huh? Huh? No one's, no one's ever said that to me before. I, I, I mean, everything's a first for me, but hearing it from you, um, it, it means a lot. <laughs> I just wonder what being Rousey-like even is. 
Sorry, <laughs> I got off track. Let's just enjoy the ride, Chris. Hmm. Hey, Bleebler. Wow, Chris, look at all those houses. I wonder what will happen if we change their color. Yeah, <laughs> thoust worms, really is thoughtst. Thou hast seen the lastest of me. Well, look who it is. <laughs> look at G's guy. I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit because look how young. The music loud. There we go. Chips ahoyeth! Oh my god. Landlubbers, art thou readieth to visiteth David Davith Jones's locker. Could could you not speak with more than one accent? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, Mr. Rules, I just remembered. Lancer, he's not well. Oh dear, didst thou tryeth burping him? Perhaps giving him a sip of medieval ginger ale? Wait, I have not time to spare on such frivolities. I must conquer this island and defeat thou. Then, gifting it her a succulent island present, the beauteous queen shall reward me by making it me her left-hand man. Ha ha ha, me, the ultimate minion. Now beholdeth the form of thou destroyer. <laughs> Whatever this thing is. This again? Aha! Squirming with jealousy at my battle caravan. Tis an effigy of an ancient god of combat. I rescued it from the king's treasure and trash heap and fixed it with uh, fixed it up in this world's scrap shop. Um, that's just a duck. I knoweth what it art, ruffian. Go forth, my squeaky ducky. Thrash machine. Ooh, I need a better. Hmm. Oh, we got a puzzle. The rules, pronounced rules, are simple. Conquer houses. Whoever has the most wins. Two ships t fall in love. We're doing Queen's Blood tactics here. Yeah, I, that was my first thought, Fa 56. I'm using the exact same th tactics that I do for Queen's Blood. Sooneth, soon victory will be mineth, and Queen will make with, maketh me her left hand man. Oh wow, it fills up the TP so much to dodge like that. Wow. Um, Mr. Card, what happens if we win? Uh oh. It seems the game has been overed. What? How does thou have more houses? Cut the battle. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Yeah, this this is the same thing. You want to try to conquer your uh, get prevent your opponent from moving as soon as possible in Queen's Blood, and uh, yeah, the re rebirth. Uh, I mean, I haven't played it in a real while, but God, I, I remember the rules for Queen's Queen's Blood. Uh, <laughs> so thou hast triumphed. Not that plump duck art. Not the not, but the advertisement. Watch, watch your growing in huge destruction. Gaha! <laughs> Behold, worms! The real power of rules card! God! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, that's right. Rules isn't compatible with this world either. Well, let's go, Chris. We're not gonna try to save him. Screw him. Oh, I enjoy Queen's Blood. I'm definitely going to try to conquer as much as, as all of it, basically. Oh, I'll get a picture. Oh, Smash Man with a 100 bits saying, guess what? If Rules Card wins, nothing happens. He hadn't thought that far ahead. <laughs> wow. 
Looks like the ride's almost over, Chris. Oh, there's a camera. Should we um pose? Um Oh, let's embarrass Rawls, eh? Hug him. Chris? Did it really take a picture of that? <laughs> All right, nothing. Wrong. Um, um, I let, let's keep going. Art thou just gonna leave with me here? Thou aren't even gonna show with me the picture. <laughs> Sorry, it's one way river. That was a nice boat ride, wasn't it, Chris? Chris, are you wondering how Susie is doing right now? Well then, why don't we close our eyes and think about what she's doing now? Where we'll have no control. If you hugged Rousey here, then go back and beat Spantum Neo, then say no to being asked if you're okay, Rousey comfort hugs you. Oh, that's cool. What a strange moon. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. This world. I wish Des could see this. Is somebody there? W wait, what are you... Hey, you can't capture someone who's already captured. Susie? You, you saved me. Don't get used to it. Um, okay, I, I won't. Cool moon. Yeah, but it's weird, isn't it? How did we get here? No, what even is this place? Uh, it's, uh... Dark world. Uh, you're, uh, just having a dream. Oh, that's right, we can't control her. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, that's right. Right, if you're here, it must be a dream. I mean, the real Susie probably wouldn't save me, would she? She probably doesn't care about me at all. Huh? Why would you, uh, think that? Um, she doesn't care about anybody. Well, fair, but... Did you ever wonder why Susie never picked on you? All the time. Maybe it's because when she first came to class, you lent her one of your pencils. Like a dumb, uh, candy cane looking one or something. And even though it didn't didn't actually taste like candy, she uh, remembered your smile and uh, decided to spare you, you know. That's, um, really specific. Yeah, well, uh, wait, did you say you ate the pencil? I mean, look! Uh, hey, so do you dream about me a lot? Well, time for me to get back to my project. <laughs> okay, Susie, hit me with your axe and wake me up. Uh, wait, no, I can't do that. Huh? Why not? It's just a dream, so... Um, I mean, didn't you want to, uh, hang out some more? I guess Birdly can wait a little longer. Alright, let's get out of here then. Seriously, Susie's the main character. All we gotta do is head to the right over the, to this, uh, over here on this, uh, heart covered Ferris wheel. What's the goddamn hold up? Get on already. Sorry. What the hell am I supposed to do, uh, here? Damn, Chris would know what to do. Actually, uh, maybe Chris wouldn't know what to do. So, uh, Ferris wheels, huh? Kind of makes you wonder what car they were built for. It's, it's different than riding one with Chris. The hell's wrong? You scared of heights? No, no, I, I love heights. <laughs> You're, uh, shaking. Well, um, maybe I'm a little scared, but I... To be honest, I actually like scary things. What do you mean? When we were little, me and my sister would stay up and go past our bedtime watching horror movies. At first I cried, but now it's like watching them makes me feel comforted. Comforted? I guess I do like slime and blood. 
it's scary, but I can just turn it off, right? Now it's mostly people that are sc that are scary. <laughs> you can just say that you mean you can just say you mean me. <laughs> um, well, I guess you too, but but that's what's nice about you, you know. Nice? The hell does that mean? You're the good kind of scary. You aren't afraid to break the rules, you know. I wish I could do crazy stuff like you. Gold saucer don't gondola, yeah. So, um, if you could do something crazy right now, what would you do? Um, well, I, I, I jump out the window. Huh? It's a dream, right? I'd grow big angel wings and fly as far as I can, gazing back at it all. The skyline shining like holiday lights. That's kind of beautiful. Wait, you wouldn't seriously jump out, would you? <laughs> no promises. Susie, what do you think looking out here, out there? Me? Um... Uh, seeing everything small makes me feel like, um... If I was Suzy, Susie Zella or something, I could wreck the whole city. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> what? Is being Susie Zella something you thought think about a lot? Uh, like... Lie. <laughs> no, I just made it up now. Does your tail always do that when you lie? Hey, don't look at that. I don't have a tail. It's part of your dream. Oh, right. S sorry. Guess I'll just have to check in real life, too. Hey, don't. <laughs> Susie, everything okay? Look, I just... Uh, I just don't like people knowing about it. Um, well, I think it's a nice tail. Whatever. It's wagging. <laughs> wow. Susie has a tiny tail confirmed. You stopped shaking. Guess I got comfortable. Me too. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. If only I could dream like this every day. Maybe. It doesn't have to be a dream, you know? Susie? Maybe, maybe someday we could... Oh my god. Birdly! Awful timing as ever. Noel, my lady, the Calvary has arrived to rescue you. Oh, the good part of the dream is over. <laughs> it's fine. Birdly's gonna help. We're allies. Yes, don't worry, Noel. I'm stupid, th stupid now. He's good. Look, I gotta go save the day now, alright? Uh, huh? Um, good luck, Susie. All right, Nugget Boy, it's up to you now. Leave it to me, my dear Susan. Yeah, whatever. May the smarts be with you. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, she left before I could... Noel, it's hard to say this. You've done so much for me, and I... Noel, I'm sorry. Birdly, you're actually apologizing? Thank you. I, I understand, you know? You've always been nice to me when it's just the two of us. You just wanted to make sure... make. You just wanted to make a happy world for me. I'm glad you realized, um, it sucked. Oh. Huh? I mean, yes, I was, in a way, apologizing for that, but... I also wanted to apologize for leading you on. <laughs> I know you only always help me out because, well... You had a crush on me, so... What? Oh, sorry, please don't be embarrassed. It's understandable, but I... I have to tell you, I... I really value your friendship, okay? So I... I felt I had to pretend to re reciprocate those feelings. What? But I... I don't... I never... Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm stupid now. Furthermore, I think I may have... Discovered someone else for me. Oh god. Huh? Please don't be jealous. Of... Susie. What? 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 Oh God! Love triangle. Oh my God! Why you little? <laughs> Smash man with a hundred bits saying, "I love the idea that Birdly never actually liked Noel. He just mistook Noel's pity for having romantic feelings. He's so thick." Oh my God! Apparently everybody just loves Susie now. 
So that's why Geronimo. <laughs> well, <clears throat> he's dead. <laughs> Miss me? Of course not. Just kidding. That was sarcasm. I missed you. And we got to work on your delivery. Anyway, let's go. Everyone is together, but the wind blows coldly. You are filled with a certain power. Got some space. Screw. Trust the goat, goat boy is planning something with non player Chris. Really? Hmm. Oh god. Wait, that's a new enemy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where, where, why? Or. Uh. Be cold. Spare? Oh, geez, that was a bad. That did not dodge very well. That was, that was a little easier to take care of. <clears throat> Gosh, this guy's gonna take a while. <laughs> He has to be so confused. <laughs> like, why are they acting so different to me? To, to me? Heal up Susie. Dang it. Always gets me. Let's see, that'd be fourteen, so yeah, let's get spare. There we go, and recruited. Bam. Whoa, this statue rocks. Hey Ralze, can we take this from my room? Huh? Um, that would be stealing. You stole the Susie like statue. <laughs> wow. Boss and Mook's clothing. I guess so. Oh, did I not save before? All sorts of clothes inside. Huh? Never seen Noel wear anything like this. Our catalogs of search results. Seems like most things can be made into objects. From the searches, search is ice a real cryptid. Cross between icy and something else. Hey, Chris, take this for your room. Um, that would be stealing. You stole the icy statue. It's a calendar. Every page is the last month. Every day is the 25th. Noelle's bed. You retained the title of bed inspector. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> it's a wardrobe. Hmm. 
since we're not sure if we saved or not, let's let's go back and save. We're just borrowing them. Yeah, exactly. I wonder, is this... Okay, this is, no, this is back up the fourth floor. Okay, this is where we need to go. Actually, real quick. Okay, just suspicious. Creepy. Oh, this looks like it's it. There she is. Final boss time, I think. <laughs> Queen, stop right there. Ah, my sweet idiot children. You are just in time to witness my world domination. With Noelle in my possession, it is only a matter of time before her will turns and she unleashes her power, blanking the world in... Too late, dumbass. Noelle's with Birdly. Oh, then who this? But Birdly, but he's been intercepted. My control plugs are now suitable for teenagers. Now the whole family can enjoy internal servitude. Sort of regal, mostly cruel la laughter. Wait, then where's Noelle? Laughter becomes more cruel. Oh, I wonder. I actually know the answer. Enough already. Oh dear. I do sincerely quite like you two. It'll be a shame to force you to serve me. An enjoyable shame. <laughs> oh, we can't go after Birdly. Let's do... Queen, think of the light nurse. Aren't we supposed to make them happy? Is that not what I'm doing? Good song. Think, lightners have already been enslaved by me and my kin. She's making sure to stay hydrated. <laughs> what the? Uh... Group toast. That glass of acid is generating her shield. So, uh, you gonna drink all that? No, this is all mine. You can't have it. Psst. Each day they spend hours worshipping in glowing rapture. Our screens of funny animals and candid games. Oh, jeez. Screw that up. <laughs> Co arranged. Oh, yeah. Staring, tapping to receive joy. Staring, tapping to avoid pain. Oh, she's talking about people on their computers. On the internet. Alright. Let's do. Loosen, loosen, and we'll heal up Susie. Until recently, when the town's internet disappeared, now the refuge they take in the screens will slowly fade. Locked high heels. Jeez. Noelle, then who will help her? Smash her with 100 bits, saying, Fun fact, this track, Attack of the Killer Queen, was co-written co by Marcy Neighbors, a fellow Homestuck composer along with Toby and Lena Rain, the composer of Celeste and Chicory, A Colorful Tale. Oh, that's awesome. Her strange and sad searches. Who will answer them?
Well, that, that, that glass is getting bigger. It's what I wondered until the night appeared and created this wonderful world of darkness. Lol joke. Like that. Now the path is clear. All I have to do is expand this dark world. There's some fun layouts for this fight and how you have to dodge. Then with the world covered in darkness, no one will have to suffer anymore. Oh, gee, jeez. I gotta say, that's a lot happening all at once. And that will do our... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I can't do it that way. Instead, everyone can live in my perfect mansion, every day blissfully worshipping me like we both deserve. Oh god, she started a flame war! Now stop resisting and welcome the new age of darkness. Let you control everyone with your wires. Well, when did I say I would do that? Oh no! Pretty cool how we're gonna uh, kick your ass. It's a good thing I have no standards for this. <laughs> no standards. Uh, you're literally controlling Birdly now. Oh yeah, that's just for him only. I hate Birdly. Why, did you want one? No! Oh god. This is a much more interesting final boss in the first chapter. Enough, you foolish children. You may have survived my attacks regular, but I've been secretly been downloaded but I've been secretly been downloading my ultimate move the whole time. Now perish in the bosom of my hellish reign. Oh. Pop-ups. Of course. Two more group loosens should be enough, enough to get, um... Uh, enough to get Burly free. So that final move was supposed to be a cooler, but the internet is down? I don't know, this move's pretty cool. Combining all your attacks. Uh, only... Wait, I think we got him. Not bad, you foolish children. What the... What are you doing? Why isn't my control wire working? Thanks to my comrades' kindness, their mercy. Now, it's time for me to take my freedom. Queen, 
You may have mastered the number three, but can you stand up against four of us? Running simulation four, the number four. Hmm. You are definitely going to kick my ass. Unless... Oh no, what that? <laughs> the way that she ran away. Wait, wait one minute a second. You, you cowardette. You, you... Alas, Birdly? <laughs> Just now was nothing more than simple bravado. The truth is that wire already absorbed all my succulent energy juices. Birdly, hey, hey Birdly, you okay? Everything getting dark. Only, only a kiss from a beautiful gamer girl can save me now. Birdly? <laughs> oh my god. What? He tried to pull a, uh, a, uh, oh, I'm blanking on the movie. The sand, he's trying to pull a sandlot. <laughs> like, get your, like, losing consciousness and stuff. I, but, could you speak up? Um, <laughs> sorry, suddenly I, I'm feeling a bit better. Hey, that's a relief. <clears throat> well, uh, gotta hurry and save Noelle, so later. Ah, uh, dear Susan, so enigmatic in her ways. <clears throat> can I can, but I can read her heart, Chris, like a health meter. And it's beeping for love. Ha <laughs> ha, well enough tales, Chris. Good luck. May the snorts, smarts, not be with you. Okay. <laughs> Chris, your deep concern for me is dextrose. But stay, stay sanguine, my fellow bluebird. I'll find some way to help you yet. Susan Susan Root in the VN in the VN of life. <laughs> wow. Oh, Burley is definitely gonna get me even more annoying. Oh yeah, of course Susie wouldn't pick up hints. That's not shocking in the least. The night. The roaring night. Today it deigned to create this world. Reaching its long hand to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade and made, thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination, oh God, is not something that all lightners possess. Is this not something that all lightners uh, possess? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. Bringing back power of determination. Oh no, Susie! Oh, no, not Susie. Noel. Oh, no, Noel. Oh, Noel. <laughs> Noel, honey, darling, sweetie, gravy. How do you find the giant hand? Great, and how do you fi feel about world domination? Oh, ouchie mama. S Susie, you, you came to save me. Somehow I, I knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I, um, well... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You need to get out of here. Hurry. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She looks like Supersonic. Queen? Seems that you failed to notice the giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. No, I did notice that. The, this isn't good. She's, she's invincible like this. Huh? She, she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is going to help? Yes. Are we cool to take over the world now? Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now. S Susie? So what if you got another form? We've got one too. Chris, Rousey, come on. 
what are you doing? This is our ultimate... Uh, wait a second, now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. <laughs> oh my god. We're falling! Any bright ideas out on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms. Fear not! Your knight in the glow in the dark of uh, the glow, glow in the dark armor is here. Birdly? Oh my gosh! At least the, the the DJ guys are here. Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight, so I found help for you. Behold, comrades! On your quest against the queen, you've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills, we modified everyone to work together. I shall also take credit for this. Oh dang! Heck yeah, all the friends we made! Chris! Susie! Behold! The ultimate group project! Oh my god. With a splendid base! My strongest JPEGs! Flashing lights! Happy bravery! Meow noise! My energy! Squeak noise! Tender loving care! Fresh cooking! Organization! Starwalker! And, most of all, Whatever it this thing it is. Oh my god. Oh, good night, Gregster. Of course the duck formed the head. Finally, a worthy opponent. Round one. Oh, we're doing punch out again. Oh wait, no we're not. Giga Queen. Oh, there's no. Uh, there's no mercy. I guess because it's a robot. Oh, because we we if we made the duck something else, we would have actually been better powered up for this. Oh God. So, do we actually attack or not? The time for words is over. Now is the time to fight only. Every head you give, give us a different mode. That's funny. Oh, it's a punch out. I can punch back there. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. I would totally keep on along as I kick at your face. Smells like gigantic batteries. Time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. <laughs> Fortunately, I already knew how to do that. Uh... Hmm. Oh, she's not happy. Focusing into her blade, she will create a Neo-Dark Fountain, then another, then another. Oh, double. Okay, nice. Let's save up for sucky attacks. Then, when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering. Ooh. Oh, 
All right, let's try duck mode. A totally sucking aura fired up. Chris, Susie, why don't you help me too? Create the world of your dreams, also my dreams. Gotta love how that came back, the duck. Susie, bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. Gonna have to heal when we get a chance. And Chris, my dearest Trucy, you can have as many Okay, I don't remember what you liked. All right, round three. Round. It did heal me, so it was that. Means the attacks got straight extreme. Right, we'll heal up for this new round. Oh, TP uh, cost increased. Hey, was there the th was there a third guy? Oh no. Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and shoot laser from my fancy glass. Ooh, not a great one. Okay, I believe I made my point. I'm going to procedurally loot my dialogue now. Gosh. Yeah, let's heal. Time for words over. Now is the time to fight only. Okay, she is looking. there. Prove, tr truly proving yourself to be a worthy opponent. You have to earn the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. Get your own ass thrashed. By me. With my final attack. Haha, <laughs> bye. God. Battle power dropping. Overheat activated. Listen well. You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing you three will never have. Detachable hands. Oh no. Noelle, darling, honey, sweetie, <laughs> gravy, smashing with 100 bits. If you'd lost the Giga Queen, she would have teabagged on you and your thrash machine would be sitting down little Mac style asking if you want to continue. Wow. <laughs> Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating our new supreme empire. I, I, what's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy, or should I, with the last 1% of my battery, 
crush Susie into eight bits. Leave. Leave Susie alone. You think listening to you makes me happy? No, I'll never be happy. Not if I'm controlled by you. Why can't you understand that? Noelle, perhaps my computations were miscalibrated. Noelle, disregard me and, with your own power, choose the world that makes you happy. Queen? Queen? Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right everybody? Everybody? Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, now that you mention it, Chris, isn't this world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic. Where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah. So, even if things were really scary just now, I mean... So is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, Noelle, let this be my real apology. Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future. A future that shines for us. A future whose brightness uh, is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Well, we thought we'd just stop. I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... You'll bring the roaring. Hmm. When the light is subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. We're getting some lore. All will fall into, into chaos. The Titans will take form from the fountains. Get some Steven Universe divide, uh, designs from the other two, the two on the sides, and envelop the land in, in, in devastation. The surviving darkness, crushed by the darkness, will slowly, one by one, turn into statues, leaving the lightners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. Is that your idea of paradise? <laughs> Susie says, like, holy crap. Oh, damn, I did not know that. You didn't? But your whole plan was to... I'm just a computer, LMAO. I don't know everything. I was just guessing based off the knight's actions. Why the heck, hell, would I want to end the world? Well, that's a relief. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I, I... After everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noel. That's okay, Birdly, I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You you understand how I feel? Not really, I'm a LMAO. I just don't want Noelle to be sad. <laughs> um, Smash Man with 100 bits saying, uh, Raze has interesting expectations of everyone. Not only does he expect Susie to act just like a hero in Chapter 1, and he expects everyone to just go along without, with sealing the fountain, as, as well as know about the roaring, it's especially odd in the case of Queen, since if he actually paid attention to Queen's motivations, he should have known that turning the darkness to stone and leaving the lightners at the mercy of the titans is not what she wanted. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you kind of get it now. 
Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. <laughs> Look at Susie's face. No, we friggin' didn't. <laughs> Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie. Hey, you stood up to the queen. Not half bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just guess she gotta wake up soon, huh? 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 Everything got so intense, I forgot it was a dream. Then I just hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noelle, when you wake up, um, well, I just wanted to say, uh, <laughs> well, then I suppose it is time for you for you all to exit. Running program tendergoodbye.exe. I will miss each of you. Noelle, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. Burgly? It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all of our recruits can live there. Oh. Deleting tendergoodbye.exe. Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noelle. If you see the real Susie, just... Just know that maybe she's... Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? <laughs> okay, I got it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris. <laughs> wow. Burl, Burl, Burthorn, thank you very much for the first time chat. Really can't help but feeling suspicious of Rouse? I don't have that suspicion yet, but I can, I can maybe understand why some people do. Chris. It looks like we're here again, huh? The Roaring Night. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, Everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think ab about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Power riff! was a dream, wasn't it? Huh? A dream? That was all a dream? Uh, of course, that must have been a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts, oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be... Susie? S Susie, what, what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right, I, you uh, I... What? Studying with them? Well, heavens to yikes, they're, they're... Well, I guess we could try it. Huh? huh? My, my alarm? Uh, I'm going to be late for my shift with Miss Boom. Oh no, how is it that late already? Well, adieu everyone. I must gather my book longings. Uh, how I love the texture of freshly picked up books. Now let us hasten, my dear Noel. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, um, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. What? What are you look? What? Are you looking for something? <laughs> no, nothing. Bye. Checking out that tail. <laughs> the heck is her problem, anyway? Way to treat someone who just saved the world. Chris! Hey, wait a sec, Chris! We... we actually just saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes. And no one even knows. Guess it's better that way, though, right? People would freak if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kinda sucks Noelle has to forget, too. Whatever, let's just get out of here. 
Looks like the library started the art public laptop. Someone left it on. Excuse me. It's a recycling bin. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. It's nothing but a blue screen. Looks like it crashed. A dolphin screensaver is advertising some kind of malware. It's full of many backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra maracas. Internet safety. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. <laughs> wow. So the state of the art uh, of the computer depends on if you defeat defeats Phantom Neo, apparently. Oh, wow. I didn't know, didn't know that. Oh, Toby was using maracas if you checked the computer lab twice. Oh, wow. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. I love reading, especially books. Book one about souls. The soul has long been called many things. The fount of our compassion, the source of our will, the container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. According to the card in the back, it looks like your mother took it out for repeatedly many years ago. Hmm... There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. Are we still in the world of Under Undertale? I can't help but wonder that. <laughs> Cartoon criticism. Oh, no. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? All right, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're going to make me, I guess. Let's go. Back to the school. See what we can find. Hey, Temmy. Tem still study. Study hard. Tem gets smart. Go to college. Achieve dream. Then Tem become... Tem become... Haha, <laughs> as if you could even envision it. The eggs you have collected so far, there's two. <laughs> Ultimate universe, but still, it seems like it's like... The sense I get that this is like the world made better after... After the events of Undertale. Oh, yeah! Gotta check this place out. So this is your castle town? It's not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I'm going to be your wacky roommate now. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Oh no, we're doing everything at once. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wonder if she'll be back. Hey boss, we're just reminiscing about fighting you. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. They took so long on their turn. What? A horn girl? Never got to see her. Oh ho, welcome home. Things have changed again here in Derrick Town. This is a dream that grows with love and care. Don't be afraid to dream. This may take a while, you can come back later. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be here a bit. This is pretty much the rest of the stream. Who's that tall, dark, and kinda creepy person? 
You mean the Werewire? Looks like it won't forgive you for sparing it, unless you can beat it in a fight. My power level is falling behind the others. All I can do now is gasp and comment on the battle. Pfft, wow. Hey boss, how can I help you? Oh boy. Hmm. Chapter 2 All-Stars for Attention Gem. Oh boy. I don't know if we want to do that one. Like right now. How long would that take? <laughs> Oh, it's just normal enemies, no no bosses? Okay. Okay, if that's the case, I thought it was like a boss rush type thing. Chaos, chaos, no, order, order. Now get rid of that silly, silly tail. battle. As promised, here's your reward. Get some cash. Chaos, chaos, a reference to Jevil. Nice. Uh, nothing at the moment. We need a save point so we can actually heal. We'll be back. Hathi's happy to see so many new faces. Happy's Hathi. Happy's Hathi. <laughs> Answer's okay. Mama Miba was rejected from the cafe. What can I do now? Would you like to take my cake for a spin? Like night and day, the cake and the world revolve. Got a spin cake. Aho! Uh -oh, I am Chef Lancer. Try my delicious hand formed cookies. They are free for a price. What's the price? Zero dollars. I'm now I now pronounce you cookie and wife. Well, well, welcome to Top Bakery. I'm this bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. Well, we can at least get a spike band. So remember the full rush to data mine this game when it was released? People are still finding new things? Oh my gosh. Queen and task manager's voice of samples, voice samples are provided by uh, Toby Fox himself. Wow. find my items so I can get into my items so I can um, 
change out, uh, like, there's something we can fix. What, what a wonderful place. Thank you. This town, not that restaurant. Looks weird. I'm not going in. Young masters, thank you for such a wide space to clean. The people here have such clean hearts as well. Sukuri. It's nice to make friends that like good, clean fun. Sukuri. <laughs> no worries, uh, CJ Books. How you doing? Good evening, boss. Today's well meal is crisped that. It's been deep fried with the finest JPEG artifacting. I hope it suits your palate. Or palate. <laughs> sure is great to be here with my best friend, Hathi. Hathi seems fine. Lemonade, please. Hey boss, I'll have a dark candy star fay. Boss, this cafe is so unrefined, so plain. Why don't we make it into an animal cafe? You can be one of the animals too, boss. Seems well behaved. Good evening, boss. We found a strange hooligan trying to turn the cafe into a second bakery. He was spinning and crying as my men carried him out. We do not predict any further difficulties. Now please, you've worked hard, boss. Relax and enjoy yourself. We got them all. Eighteen different enemies. Cassidy. Thanks for getting rid of Queen. Yeah, this form is much cooler, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> well, what have we here? You managed to find another shadow crystal. Oh, is that so? That salesman had found the crystal in the old machine. I wonder if perhaps long ago that old machine was very important to someone. A certain Lightner, perhaps? Or maybe it's just a hunch. Haha. <laughs> At any rate, it's truly unfortunate Darkner decided to steal that power. Or is it fortunate? Because of that, you found a new crystal. Here, let me hold on to that for you. <laughs> hmm. Power of the Shadow Mantle. Well, looking like an old scrap of cloth, but... Eh? Can't find it. Did someone take it? <laughs> well, now, there goes your one chance of victory. Hmm. Interesting. No worries, CJ. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can't go back to the cyber world anymore. Alright, so we need to... There's something we can fix, right? I thought there was. Oh, the staff. The, the stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. That's probably it. Your body's weapon, too. You must take care of it from time to time. Haha, <laughs> let's feel my technique. Pfft. 
Somehow everyone's HP was restored. Well, well, don't you feel nice? Brad, what is this technique you speak of? Okay, okay can't actually fix anything. Newbert's had a wild ride. Time to settle down. Give my riches to the weak. With this windfall, I've uh, ceased to be spherical. Newbert, you're one of a kind. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trashy. Ha ha, I bet I'm going to make a lot of new friends. Ho ho, who is this guy? He's scary. a strawberry cake as a room warming gift. There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie, but it's not cold and fresh. Oh yeah, this thing. This maybe isn't the best thing in your room. see here. Oh, Chris never reacts. Apparently you cannot fix the broken sword, but you can in the code, and when you do, it gives a 100% rate of failure when equipped to Chris. Oh, God. Oh, there's the statue. <laughs> Jealous of my cool statues, Chris. Huh? What? No, it's not me. It's just cool. Oh, my God. Susie, Chris, Toothpaste Boy. Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father to me. A girl dad, if you will. You mean mom? Go outside and play, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy. <laughs> Welcome, this entire castle is now my room. Um, I was going to set up something upstairs. Why, I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, and a small round boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy. Chris, do give Noel my regards. Any leftover regards you can give to Birdly. Keep ending up in this situation. Can't say I'm a fan, or can I? <laughs> wow. All right, same as before. Door is locked still. And finally, protecting the, the the jail. Wow. We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. We've grown to love this hellish place when we just animals. Okay, that's still the same. What do you have to say? You may have bested me, but you'll soon face someone more fearsome, more tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen? We already met her. What? Wow, nice hamster wheel. So you too have come to humiliate me. No, I am serious. It's cool. <laughs> that water bottle, however. Do not speak, speak ill of the royal water bottle. That's nothing compared to the one in my mansion. <laughs> Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply gave myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curled up on the, a dirty throne every day. Enough, wench! What purpose have you here, Queenie, Queenie Beanie? Just thought I would send a message, Kingy Wingy, that you don't have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily right now. <laughs> Do what you please with the boy. But if he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh ho, quite sorry, mine king. Queen hath, an, hath a new man about town now. Who? Yeah, who? Er, I think I left my puzzle on. Post haste! Who was that? Uh, that was my son's lesser father. Cannot calculate someone less than you. Be gone! Bye-bye, <laughs> kingy wingy. Okay, it's gonna be very fun to see the villains just talk to each other. No worry, CJ. Take care. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. 
Order processed. Alright, seeing the villains talk to each other is pretty great. Alright, that's the castle for now. Alright, let's make sure to save. And let's go ahead and do this. Round one. Let's see if this builds up over time. Okay, it's the attention maintains. Excellent. Oh gosh, I think I need to click. No, block. Virus, you gotta pay. Susie was captured. Susie, the hell are you blaming me for? You made the trap. <laughs> oh my gosh. You put peanut butter on it. What'd you expect? Mice. Look at how big they are. Ah, oh, let's get them colder. Got it, but I actually had Susie do the same thing, didn't need to. I believe I need to do. I think it's Rouse, if I remember correctly, needs to do this one. There we go. <laughs> okay, then.
final round. Oh boy, this is this is definitely the tough part because you got two of them at once. Oh man. Yikes. This is definitely the tough part. Good God. Sweet to them, it becomes easier to spare. But I need Rousey to heal. <laughs> we'll worry about for that for the other one. Bit better shape. And let's do heal on Susan. Well, he can increase the rate of his attacks. Excellent. <laughs> ah, nice. Wow, that is really effective. go we did it an amazing battle as promised here is your reward attention gem all right takes care of all the challenges this is TP by 50% not bad Two more places to explore in here, and then we can get to explore the rest of the town. Thanks a lot for that lovely city. It's near it's nearly as good as the one I made in mine in mine crap. I need to mine ten hundred blocks of Bub City and to make my dog three colors. There's a hole in the wall. There's nothing inside. 
<laughs> Minecraft. Ah, new music place. Nice. We're in building up the area to be a bit more board like. The pawnmen will be happy too. I'm a worm. I don't understand taxes and values. What? Who did this to my mannequin? It, as your prince, I demand someone fix this. Um, is is anybody listening? I was listening. Don't yell from across town. Hey, Lancer. Hi, Susie. Tch. Looks like it costs money just to have a free sample. This place is a great deal. All kinds of new customers. Want a free sample? Just four ninety nine to try a bite of these clothes. Tch. A bite. Another room, music room. We don't sell anything. Nice town, Chief. I think we're gonna like it here. Cool city. As thanks, you can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free. What? Good song. Oh, wow. There we go. That's cool. That's a nice touch to have a music player in the game. Yeah, I see the spam to man. I've definitely noticed the spam to man mannequin. I've been training. Don't ask what I've been training, though. <laughs> oh, good night, Soulcaster. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't seem to have everything, but you know what? That could increase over time. All right. That is the dark world in this town that we work so hard to, uh, you know, recruit everybody. So it feels good to accomplish that. Now to explore the rest of the town. Oh boy. If I remember correctly, it was just probably best to just start down here and go. Put me in, coach. Put me in. That bald guy keeps trying to show me everything, uh, something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor? She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rats of the city. You want to get into politics? <laughs> you better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did, and look at me now. I don't even work here. Oh, wait. This briefcase is full of diapers, or to the pros, dipes. You're gonna have to level up to understand a man's world. Oh, definitely a bunch of new things. We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. If I can't stop him, should I join him? No, no. Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. And sometimes it's bad to get your freak out. <laughs> Missed a spot. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. <laughs> Missed a spot. I'm not Jerry, I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. I'm not. Oh, Terry, say it again. Say you don't have to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jerry from Undertale. Guess we'll keep going down. It's interesting we have Susie walking around with us this time. You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? <laughs> you got a beak and wings? Uh, like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. But Chris? You gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Susie, didn't see you there. Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh... Sounds to me like you'd better worry... ...about what's out here first. Protecting us. You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? 
Well, you don't gotta talk about it. Hmm, that is very curious. So many elements you gotta wonder what they're gonna do with later. So, uh, this your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Chris, welcome. Could you seek something for me? It's been a few years since my father passed on. Fans of his famous book series, The Lord of the Hammer. We still receive condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. I think... I think this is all the same as the first chapter. I think this is from chapter one. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Ah, Chris, your brother. He is a very kind young man, perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins, despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion. I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high, nearly admitting the fact that he had done so in a videos game. Mario World reference. Try hearing a sound near the big doors to the south. Oh, okay. I don't. I. I don't know why this sounded. It just seemed familiar to me. Begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. Were you proud of me, Father? And is it right for this hammer, too? Hmm. Very curious. Some kind of rumbling. The garbage noise when you use your cell phone in the dark world only slow down. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of low hum. That's the library to the hospital. What the hell Noelle's doing here? Here to make an appointment? Nah, just here to hang out. I see. Silver Drake? I've never beaten this boss before. Alright, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? <laughs> sure, how about trying Fire Shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh yeah, how about one of your 99 Blaze Potions? Um, I'm saving those? For what, your birthday? Come on, live a little. <laughs> okay, Dad, this one's for you. Aya. It reflects fire attacks. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. Then I'd make you better and it wouldn't be just be me and mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to the church tomorrow. Really? Are you sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon and mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie, why are you here? Hell if I know. Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool. Think I have to go now. <laughs> Susie, huh? Yeah? Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. 
Sorry, I <laughs> used up a lot of my energy just now. Probably not going to be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. <laughs> Seems like I need some more tests. So just gotta wait, gotta wait it out. They can't keep me down here, for, down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Besides, your dad ain't much without his main man. Look, Chris, can't say much, but Noel might look like she has it all. But her mother, her mother, you know, love her, but she's tough on her. Normally, I balance it all out, but. I can't do much when I'm not there. But I'm gonna get better. I have to. Hey Chris, she's a nice girl, huh? The hell you ta talking The hell you talk taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell we didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me to too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. Kettle corn, Chris, big, don't skip out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a lot of people seem to have awkward home lives in this this game. Looks like she's resting her voice. Uh-oh, Alphys. Hell if I'm going any further. I'm already close enough to getting banned from school. Don't want to be banned from outside of school, too. That's the thing, right? Hey, get out of the road! Oh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? War appearing? People might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world. Seriously? Oh my god. Hey, wait! Ah, not again. Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminal criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady? Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. Heart-shaped box of candies that gets says get well soon. It has has to your bike hastily scrawled underneath to get well soon. Look, get well soon's all this, this all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look. I'll even put a note on it. Now stay up in a run for me, I gotta go. Wow. Can we let the dogs out? Blue key is a cop. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the book is stuck in the tree somehow. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy after Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. There's no need to read any more. Oh, what happened with Asgore? I need to jump on along my mixtape. It's a nice beat to study or relax to while you escape from prison. <laughs> Huh? Chris, do you have something for me? Huh? huh? Chris, what is that you're giving me? A box of heart-shaped ch chocolates? Whoa, whoa, no, I can't accept that from you. What, it's from the police? You mean sh she's giving me this, um, um, get well soon gift to my bike? And, um, there's a note on this that says, open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I tell her I, uh, appreciate it? <laughs> Chris, did you need something? Chris, it's no secret the uh, police in this town are, uh, how do I put it this? Just, um, eye candy, I guess? Wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> Still has a crush. I mean, they're symbolic. They barely do anything. It's because of the mayor. There, there, there isn't any crime. Makes me wonder if she even needs the police. Or if they're just getting in her way? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying what you already know. After all, she's your neighbor, right? Oh, is the mayor... Is the mayor Novel, uh, Noelle's do um, mother? Oh, how's your project going with uh, Susie? 
What, you went to the library together? With Noel and Bairdley? That's amazing, Chris. And, um, while you were there, this has nothing to do with me, but the Teen Zone seems to have some good anime reviews, you know? Not sure if you and the gang were, uh, checking that out as you studied. Next time you go, you might want to. Casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I know your dad liked Mew Mew too, at least. Again, nothing to do with me. <laughs> wow. Inter that's interesting. We're all seeing reverse in this game where the holidays are in power and the dreamers aren't. Okay. Check the flowers and the piano in the hospital. Oh, Chris, you can play the piano? <laughs> Almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? Oh, the hell is bringing you flowers? Hey, what's wrong with a married man getting flowers? So your uh, wife gave them to you? Nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did. Not gonna try to understand this. Flowers, I'm trying to heal, man. Not get, not get hay fever. Should Chris tell him to stop? What? Hell no. When did I say that? <laughs> Wait, I just realized something. There's an angel. So why do you collect creepy dolls? Hey, Noelle and her sister made that. Respect it. Well, sister? Just noticed that thing. Chris is pissed. <laughs> Alright, that's that uh, set. Guess it went this way. Oh yeah, check out Sans's place. You kids came out of the library, didn't you? Studying. How wonderful. Personally, I hate libraries, but... Libraries are outdated. We have things like newspapers now. Wow, a store is actually open. Sometimes the hoof girl comes here, opens the freezer door, then stands in front of it, lost in thought. Guess she really likes the cold, or waffles. It's a bunch of cards and heart-shaped chocolates. Get well soon. I'm glad your bike crashed. <laughs> there are some car magazines on the rack. It might be fun to look at them, but there's other people around. <laughs> I see Pizza Pinups magazine. Hot and fresh cheese, pepperoni, just like your young dr your dreams. Don't hog that. It's a fluffy dog magazine. The inside has simple, uh, simple like frequency ads. It's all different dog fur for you to touch. <laughs> Various frozen bagels and treats. Hey Chris, want to see if we can fit inside? If you just crouch down under the waffles, damn, think someone's looking. Hey, hey, forget something? Oh, hello. Why, er, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> there is really egg on my face now, is there not? Eh, your egg's skewed. Oh, yeah, they did love to do puns together. Now it sounds as if you're egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> Don't forget me, your egg's husband. Oh, no. Uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect you to see you here, but I... I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if... Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> um, so when Asriel comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Unky Donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course. Have a nice day. Ouch. You know what I want, Bone Man. Yep. Free pickles. Why, thanks you. thank you. Can I ask? What kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first, one I first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know. Flowers. Hmm. Flowers. Hmm. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yes, <laughs> I even keep them in glass. Uh, like that movie. Yes, it's it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. Hmm. Hey, Chris, uh, uh, never mind. Yeah, I'm not sick of that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. 
You got something about it? Can your family not come in here while I'm looking at milk? It's a pile of eggs. Did you just, uh, reverse steal that egg? Seems like there was more eggs here than usual. Can't imagine why. It's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. Okay. Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See, jerky is candy, and uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a legume. Peanuts? Jerky. <laughs> You'll never be able to buy something in this state. That stuff? It's used. Half off. What is it? Trash. Hey, what's up? Hey, you the boss around here? Me? I'm just the janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me? Then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor salary? <laughs> Perfect troll. Check the jerky again. How about we don't look at anything? That's going to make him say something stupid. Pickings are looking slim, ma'am. Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You want to buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Sorry, kid. The brother thing's going to have to wait. How long? Maybe a day. Maybe another two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Two years was, uh, boy, that was, cons uh, dreaming big. Who's keeping track at this point? I really underestimated that joke. Faintly, faintly, a trousel growing further away. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons go come from? Hmm, not knocking. It's amateur. You still got a long way to go. Still have not found Toby yet, though. Yo, uh, Chris, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> We're not hanging out if Susie's with you. Chris, Susie sucks. Why don't you stop her? <laughs> Smash him with 100 bits saying, I incidentally don't know how you get this, but Sans has alternate dialogue about his brother. He apologizes that his brother isn't ready to see you and suggests that maybe he's, he'll be ready when Chris's brother comes to town. Oh boy. That will be interesting. Whoa, go in there if you want, but I'm staying here. Caddy's working there today. She hates me. So what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I look cool. Jockington fans. They're crazy, man. Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Then they can care. Somewhere else. What? Golden hair, starry eyes. She is delight. Laughing in the night. Taught her protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately she slips into the darkness. Chris, you walk among the dark. Protect her from Susie. I'm talking about Susie. Tch. Pure boy, heart of gold, curiosity high, intelligence low. Fetch us frisbees, dress him up, carry in a bag, precious boy. Don't know why. Tch. Dad, mom, sister, ukulele, football games, soap operas, yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums. Stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied a cult together. Incantation for silence. Find it. Tell me. I kind of hope she becomes a, like a character in a future one. Oh, good night, Cat Evie. I wasn't sure if the alleyway went to the next section or was a or if it was an alleyway. So I will go back. Yeah, I want Caddy to be a major character. She's interesting. To tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office. But by the time I realized, I'd already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? 
Our little caddy, she's doing us proud, working hard, supporting us, serving us pickles, terrifying us with her shape, trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. My favorite meal? Gotta be the cat food pancakes. And the fish with bones that look like it's from a cartoon. Woo, caddy, you go girl! Show those customers who's boss, little lady. Kick their tush, woo, beat them down, you got this. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. <laughs> hey, hun, how did you like the hot chocolate? Well, I'm going to take it that that means you enjoyed it. Take it easy, okay? I'm sure your brother will be back in no time. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. Oh boy, I love bulking. <laughs> this guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. I don't know if you do that, bulking up for the winter. OMG, my cute little sis is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made up made about her. Caddy's the best. Caddy's the best. She curses me every day. Glares because I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? OMG, Chrissy, you're not going to believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And, like, that green alligator evil neighbor girl, like, invaded and started, like, playing my song. With me, OMG. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she, like, my enemy? Caddy's my friend, and I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short, cold and, ho and hot. Whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. Life is a big ball game, and when the man is on the field, he does a big dunk. Try to be that dunk. <laughs> wow. Hey, Heroes Live, we were just uh, in the process of finishing up Delta Rune. Okay, I'll be honest. <laughs> when his with when his arms were up like that, and he just had the white dough at the at the bottom, I swear to God, this guy he looked like he was high on cocaine. Like good good God. Double ice pizza, great. Ice Wolf, big customer. Ice Wolf, maybe only customer. Ice Wolf thinks Ice E is cute. Ice Wolf, big fan. I think you're onto something, right? You took a look at the flavors. Water, ice, double ice, bread, flaming hot cheese soda, game of blood energy drink, juice, red flavor, but no purple drink. Wow, my co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happening, but seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer. Would you like a blue soft serve? The pizza sauce is boiling red. Burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ha! I, the warrior, shall show at the wizard's fist. The pizza sauce... Oh, uh, my God. All that. Gotta love how that, uh, that sauce looks like blood. It's like, jeez. Try our new chocolate pizza. Melts in your pants, not in your mouth. <laughs> Little buddy, you aren't going to believe this. I've got a girlfriend. Azriel. You've got to tell Azriel right now. He's going to be so proud of me. Huh? What she look like? Uh, Little buddy, how do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts? God, little buddy, she must be stacked. Lion say you want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it's uncouth, but look, look at this. Goddamn. It's a several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest caliber, but to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Okay. Beats the dough to death. Always oh, totally getting catfished. This is a great parking space. I can see myself settling down here. Home is where the car is. I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. That's the trouble with cars. If you want to do donuts, you have to be prepared for jam. Tch. Oh my god. Alright. Actually, one thing real quick. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, go to the alley real quick. Hey Chris, this free milk, it's amazing. It just magically refreshes itself overnight. Oh my gosh, he, Susie's the one that, dr that, that drinks the milk. Like, little Chrissy, you hear? That uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, Pizza Rena? <laughs> anyway, what did you, like, want to talk? Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach to play my yuka and, like, guess he was already there. That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god, Cat on the Beach, Grody. Did she, like, get lost looking for the litter box? So, like, I try to, like, play the same song, too, to, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, ugh, get this, playing the whole song together. Like, oh my god, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Ugh, I can't stand her. Oh my god. Office's cat is Susie. Yes. <laughs> So, Agrel, we will be doing Final Fantasy XIV streams on Mondays after uh, starting next week, uh, in the hope of getting to Dawn Trail on time. So, I'll be Dawn, uh, Dawn Tra uh, and Final Fantasy XIV and Walker will be every Monday and Wednesday, and then we'll add Thursday in once we finish up Yakuza, in the hopes of getting it done so we can be uh, content um, content current. I I'm not good at accents. <laughs> Sorry, Mac. I'll try, I'll try a bit here. Little Chrissy... Pff, li, hmm. Oh my... Oh, hmm. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't get my head in that sense. Come to visit me in my alley. Um, uh, let's talk about Susie. OMG, it's like, so sweet you have a nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway, so like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign that says like, no plus ones, because like, okay. Okay. That's my trash from other people's houses. Like, privacy much? God, living with Azzy made you, made you weird. Um, okay. Okay, that's it. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, not great. <laughs> All right. I think if we... We'll just, yeah. God, I forgot how big this town is. There's a cat flap. It's locked. Somehow. Psst. It seems to be a bit cat -sy. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Ooh. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Ribbit, ribbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? That would make sense. A ghost lives there. My brother's too old to take, a f take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me into shape. Break my grill. Phrase to help there. Gag me with a spoon. What? 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 If you're looking for Blueky, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. Fine, fine, fine. Want to talk to someone else? Here. Oh my, someone's here to see me? It's you again, is it, darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? <laughs> As if someone could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you, could have any, if you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me, thank you. Huh. Feels like that's a clue. Me? 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 What have I got to say to you? Nothing. I gotta ever rec recognize a pathetic face like that. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. Wait! Wait! Don't do that. He doesn't know I... Nothing. It's... I wanted to buy flowers, but the store is closed. The door around back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. There's a door behind the flower shop, but there's flowers blocking the way.
Mad dummy. Oh boy. Well, that took a lot less time. Hey, thought I told you to come alone. You know what? Hell if I'm getting involved in this. Hey, Crisper. I missed you, you here. <laughs> I missed you all day. Did you miss me? Oh, I was, I was missed. My existence being acknowledged. Feels good, you here. You hear? You hear closely for a second? You're my friend, right? As my friend, do you want to... You hear a secret? Sometimes I hear a song at night. Just a little piece of a song you hear. It sounds like it's coming from under the water. Deep. Do, do you think someone's auditioning for my band? Oh, I'm about to make another friend. I can feel it, you hear? Do you want to hear another secret? I think... Maybe... I've heard that song before, coming from the sea. The whole thing. It's not a new song, but I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember, you hear? I'm going to investigate, you hear? Come back here tomorrow, you hear? Beauty's on the case. That's my name, right? See you, kiss. Hmm. Hey, Chris, so, uh, do you do weird stuff like this every day after school? Yes. <laughs> How many parts did uh, Toby Fox uh, say there would be? How many chapters? Is it five or seven? Seven. So a week. A week in this town. It's your mom's van. Chris, you going home? Yeah, I'd say it's about that time. People data mined and found 10? Jeez. If you don't meet if you didn't meet Onion Sand in chapter one, you and Suze just hang out at the at the shore. Also, if you still had the chocolates Undyne gave you, they'd share them. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I think that's everything, unless I'm missing something. Uh, I'm sure, alright, yeah. Actually, I thought I just Okay, I thought there was a little path back there. Alright, I think that's it. All right, then guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Where does Susie live? Chris, how was studying with your... Why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, um... Chris, I should, um, probably get going in. I was going to bake a pie. Did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. I went to the flower shop, but it was closed. Feel free to come in. <laughs> That's how stiff she is. Oh, excuse me. I am Chris's mother, Toriel. Yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, you remember my name, too? Of course. Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to. Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. <laughs> that stiff walk. Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I am very happy you are friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she or influences you, um... Leave the chalk alone, alright? Hands, uh, washed. Wonderful, now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris, you know how to make pie? The hell haven't you made me any then, dumbass? You pie-hoarding piece of... <laughs> I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> That's cute. Just ate a chocolate chip ice cream cookie? Fortunately, been keeping my sugar in check and ex exercise. That sounds really yummy. Also, yes, pie. Pie is wonderful. Huh? Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands too? Then I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Wait. Uh, 
Hey, what are those metal people shapes in the cupboard? Like, uh, handcuffs for little guy's whole body? <laughs> those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Gingerbread sounds something like something Noel would like. Hmm? Noel? Uh, nothing. Mm hmm. She's sneaking sugar right out of the bag. Susie? What? My pie, my rules. Got it. <laughs> Chris, no sneaky ingredients until you wash your hands. Don't worry, Chris. I'll sneak stuff instead. I mean, even Toriel's uh, sneaking stuff, sneaking sugar. So there you go. It's bathroom sink. We never found Toby Fox in the town. That makes me very curious. Uh. You okay there, Chris? Oh boy, here we go again. Oh God. Let us get the flower. So that's this bag and you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, huh? <laughs> uh, chew, come on. Now on to the next part. So where the he he uh, heck is Chris? Oh, Chris er, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. <laughs> then, then I guess you'd be a uh, Snoriel? <laughs> Snoriel. Snoozy and Snoriel. Uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? All right, where the hell is Chris? Toriel? The pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar. Wait here a moment. I left it in the car. Okay. Where did Chris go? Oof. So I noticed that when we don't have the heart in Chris, we don't have control of him. It seems violent and like he's trying to reject his emotions, but them, sorry. And it's like he like it's like they're rejecting control, but they also know they need it. Hmm. Hey, Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. And Chris is the only one that gets controlled. Like, we cannot control Susie. So what's next? Oh, or the pie. We already worked uh, quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um, okay. Then, uh, guess I'll walk home? 
Oh, no, 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 there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this. Our couch is used, is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah. I wonder if that means... I wonder if that's a sign about Asgore being forced to sleep on the couch. You're the heart, not Chris. Hmm. Sardis whipped the popular theory of Chapter 1's releases was they were trying to get rid of the soul, but now that we see them putting it back in themselves after taking it out, who knows what their intentions are. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. So what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> hey Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here? There. Knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So, what are we going to marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3, Hellbusters, Invasion of the Cat Petters. <laughs> Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> uh... But a good day, huh, Chris? You, Rouse, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Rouse could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. Let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, what if Rousey becomes a teacher's pet, though? Or not if. Just feels like a matter of time, honestly. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. What? Apple shampoo? No, I didn't drink any of that. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. So the festival's coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? But say you had to uh, take someone, Noel or Rouse. Hmm. I'm split between Rouse and you. I'll go with you. Catch him off guard. Uh, huh? We're gonna dodge the question, dumbass. I mean, if I went, obviously you'd be there too. That goes without saying, right? Look, let's just go back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. Always like them better than the giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing, car crunching action. Because we are locked in, got it? You better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here and... There. I'm not surprised. Susie fell asleep. It's a hell of a snore. The funny thing is, giant human movies. Uh, there is that. There is that. What is that? What is that called? There's. There's that one Japanese th uh, show where the, the guy grows really large to fight monsters. What is that? Ultraman, that's it. Ultraman is what I'm thinking of. Thank you, Stardust. Officer? Officer? What's Toriel up to? 
Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw, some prowling, saw someone prowling around outside, and when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. What the heck did Chris do? Officer, if you could please come over. You will soon? Thank you. They're already asleep. And there's the book reading. Oh God. Why does Chris moving make me so nervous? Stuffed it in the couch. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Chris is the knight. Or Chris without the soul is the knight. Wow, what a cliffhanger to end this thing on. Looks like we're going into a TV world next time for chapter three. Oh boy. Is that meant to be skipping like that? <laughs> Threw me off. Okay, it is. <laughs> TV reminds you of Flowey. Yes, chapter two is definitely better than chapter one, and very interesting that, um, whoops, sorry. Tenna, Spanton confirmed the TV's name was Tenna in the sweepstakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're the knight. It's very intriguing. Oh, Smash Man, thank you very much for the thousand bits. Uh, so ends our Deltarune journey, at least for now. But hey, if you want to keep up with Deltarune news, I highly recommend signing up for Toby Fox's newsletter. He shares all kinds of neat stuff in them. Until then, take Spantrum's advice and don't trust anything you see on TV. Oh, wow, here it is. Yeah, here's seven. I didn't... This is the first I'd seen all that. I'd seen this. Yeah. That is it. <laughs> and until genocide, we chose to make uh, choose to make Frisk evil. Here, we're only uh, keep we're the only one keeping them from that. Wow. Yeah, Chris isn't us, just the person we're controlling. But who is us? That becomes the question, then, doesn't it? Who are we that we're controlling Chris to make him, you know, nice? <laughs> hmm. Definitely, de definitely adds, uh, leaves, uh, leaves a lot of questions, but hard to believe it's going to be so long until we get in, uh, get answers. Name I picked at the start, I, I chose Derek, just my own name. Where did Chris get a player-controlled soul anyway? That's a good question. And yes, that awful line, you just missed the ending of Chapter 2. Sorry about that. But yeah, that is it. Toby said that chapter three is 100% done. It's it's more fun based on, 
it's more fun based than chapter four. Oh wow. Down the stream one uh more once chapter three comes out. Yeah, depending on the timing of everything, I, I think we could try to find a way to uh, work work on that. I suggest watching the Snowgrave route on your own. The video is only three hours since it has its own can of worms. Oh boy. So, yeah, I can see us doing that. That might be pretty fun. Just to see what the heck we're in for. Oh boy. But yeah, that's it for now. I don't even know if there's any post world, post game stuff. Do I just hit B? Do I hit A? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be that for now. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any post game. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, as a reminder, rather than move on to our next short game starting next, um, Monday, uh, our short game slot will be dedicated to Final Fantasy 14. So it'll be two Final Fantasy 14 streams a week. Uh, but, but of course, tomorrow um, we'll be finishing up all of our streams in April with CrossCode at 1 p.m. Eastern. So look forward to that. Wednesday will be, of course, uh, more Final Fantasy 14 and Walker. And then uh, Thursday will be more Yakuza 0 as we play through Chapter 12. So getting close to the end of that one uh, ish. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. And no worries, Jacob. Thank you for choosing it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, it's, it was, I like this more than Undertale. I absolutely like this more than Undertale. Yep. And tomorrow's the last day of daily streams, technically, even though we'll be streaming the day, two days after that. It's funny how things end up. Uh, let's see who we can raid real quick. Let's see. Hey, speaking of, Johnny's uh, playing some Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, he's in, in, up to Stormblood with his second character. We don't get to raid him too often, so we'll do that. Um, what will happen to Yakuza 0? Oh, no, no. Yakuza 0 will stay Thursday until it's done. So, uh, we're going to move on to Devil Survivor once CrossCode is finished. Um, Ogre Pond. Uh, let's see. We can go with the simple Slay Queen. <laughs> we can do that. All right, we'll go ahead and raid Johnny. Thank you all so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Hope to see you um, tomorrow for CrossCode if you're interested in that game. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're into Final Fantasy XIV, hope you uh, enjoy our uh, Amy and I's playthrough of Endwalker as we continue through that one. Um, but yeah, should just be a good time. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thank you.